Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you guys can see from the title of the video, I'm going to be doing my everyday glam makeup tutorial. I tried to film it as best as I could for you guys. I'm still new to this whole YouTube world. I think I did a pretty good job, so let me know down below what you guys think. Yeah, it's nothing too crazy, just like a little glam. And before we get into it, I want to give a shout out to the charity this week, which is Doctors Without Borders. They're sending aid to countries who are getting hit the hardest by COVID-19. If you could donate anything, whatever you can helps. So I'll link them again in the description box below. Um, yeah, let's get into this video. So first I start off with my eyebrows and I like to do my eyebrows when there's nothing else on my skin. I haven't prepped it or put any primer or moisturizer on yet because I feel like my pencil sticks better when my skin is a little bit drier. So I just brush my eyebrows down a very light stroke motion and then I brush that up and do the same thing on the bottom, just super light strokes. I don't like for my brows to look too filled in. And then I'm gonna take this Lime Crime Bushy Brow. It's like a little pen. And I'm missing hairs in the front of my brow. So I kind of just like take the pen and draw some hairs. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And by the way, I used the Anastasio Brow Wiz in shade Caramel. Okay, now that my brows are done, I go in to prep my skin. I'm going to use my Kylie Skin Moisturizer. I love to use this moisturizer before doing my makeup. I feel like it makes my, the makeup sit nice on my skin. So I just do like a good amount like that. And then I mix in the Barbara Sturm Glow Drops. Mix it all together. And I just go around my eyebrows so that I don't get it on them. I'm in a glue. Next, I'm going to finish off my brows before I put any primers on. Let the moisturizer soak into my skin. Morphe M224 little concealer brush and my Kylie concealer in the shade Maple. And I'm just gonna put like a little dab on my hand. Go in on my hand with the brush. Make sure my eyebrow hairs are brushed up out of the way. And I'm just gonna lightly start like lower on my eye because I don't want it to be too, too carved out to get most of the product off. And then just lightly go under and then do the same thing on the other side. So now I'm gonna take the leftover concealer I have on the back of my hand and just dab it onto my eyelid and make sure that um, concealer is nice and blended and seamless into the skin. Then I'm going to take my Morphe M501 brush. It's just like a small little brush. And I'm gonna go into my Laura Mercier translucent powder and get a little bit on the brush, not too much. And dust it off and then I put it on my eyelids to set them. I put a little bit on my eyebrows as well to set the eyebrow pencil because it's a wax pencil. Now we're gonna go into eyes. I feel like I went through a phase in my life where I was really good at doing my makeup and then recently I just, you know, feel like I just don't know what I'm doing anymore. So I'm going to, you know, do the best I can on my eyeshadow. I usually keep it really simple and then sometimes if I'm feeling frisky, I'll attempt a wing. The one thing I don't like about doing wings is my eyes are a little bit different shaped. So when I do the wing, I feel like if I don't, I don't know how to do it to where it like looks the same on each side and to where it looks good on each side. I usually just do it and it ends up like making my eye look like it's drooping down. So we'll see about that later on. But first I'm going to start off with eyeshadow. Kylie Cosmetics bronze palette. It's my go-to and this is like my third one. <laughs> I'm gonna take this middle orange shade on this Sephora Pro Crease brush and just go in my crease. And then I'm gonna go in with this Morphe M433 brush and this, I think, Tiger Eye and focus that more just on the outer corner, just the whole outer corner of my eye. And then I'm gonna take the same first blending brush I did orangey shade with and just blend those together. And then I'm gonna take this Morphe M124 brush. It's like flat and small. And I'm gonna dip it in to the this like reddish brown and the actual brown and like mix those together and then dust that off. And I'm just gonna put that like right on my lash line. And I'm just gonna like whatever's excess on the brush, just like kind of drag it past and create like almost like a little shadowing. But like very messy. Make sure it's like cleaned up on the edges. And then usually this like helps me have like a baseline or if I do end up deciding towards the end if I want to add liner, helps me make it so that they're more even with like the 
it's almost like a stencil underneath um but yeah that's pretty much all i do to my eyes <laughs> Um, okay, so I'm gonna move on back to my face. My Kylie Cosmetics. I feel like this whole video I've used all Kylie Cosmetics because her shit's bomb. Um, but I'm gonna use my Kylie Cosmetics primer. Um, I never really used primers. I just don't ever notice a difference uh, with primers. I use this one because I have it. But I don't think primer for me. I haven't noticed like the biggest difference from using one and not using one. But yeah, I just put that everywhere. Let it sit for a second. Then I'm gonna go in. I have really bad uh, dark under eye circles, so I'm gonna color correct it a little bit. I'm gonna use my Dragon Beauty color corrector, and I just put just a little under my eyes. Morphe M175 brush. Use it to press in. And I'm gonna bring it down to the side of my nose a little bit because I have a little redness there. Now that I'm all color corrected, I'm gonna move on to my foundation, and I'm just stating this now i don't want to see it in the comments i am a spray tan lady um i get spray tans weekly and since we've been in quarantine i obviously haven't been able to get my spray tans so this is the lightest shade i own and i don't even know if it's gonna match but we're just gonna roll with it and bring it all the way down the neck i'm wearing a long sleeve so you know hopefully you won't be able to tell um but this is the giorgio armani luminous silk foundation it is my go-to my everyday foundation if i'm wearing foundation this is the foundation I'm wearing. I actually just bought the um, Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation and I'm waiting to try it, but this is my everyday routine, so this is what I'm using and I'm using it in the shade 6.25. I'm going to put two pumps on the back of my hand and um, use it with a foundation brush. This is a it's really scratched off, but I think it's 187S or 6, but I just put it on the back of my hand and then I just Push it out. Make sure you get your ears and the back of your ears. It's actually like isn't looking too bad. Make sure you guys get like if your hair is up like mine, get like the back of your neck and the sides really well. Careful around my eyebrows. And then I like squeeze the brush a little bit to go. Then I'm gonna take my beauty blender and you know just get whatever foundation I have left on the back of my hand and just make sure everything is really blended. I'm going to conceal. I'm going to be using the same maple shade in the Kylie uh, concealer. This honestly is my favorite concealer ever. Um, it is like a perfect consistency to me. It's not too thick, but it, it covers. It doesn't crease. It just... I'm just going to put up some lines under my eyes, a line down my nose, in the middle of my forehead, on my chin, and then I like to bring it down on my laugh lines a little. So then I'm going to take my beauty blender and just start blending it all out. Okay, once that's all blended out, I'm going to take this NARS Tinted Glow Booster. I honestly don't know what this is actually for, but I use it as like almost like a cream contour. And I'm gonna go in with like the same foundation brush I use, and it's just like a shimmery little. I just use it to warm back my face up. Just go around my forehead and on my cheeks. And then I just go back with my beauty blender and make sure that's all blended. Then I'm going to take my NARS uh, liquid blush in the shade Orgasm. A little squirt on the back of my hands. And I use the back of my beauty blender for this, the fat side. And I just make sure I get it nice on my hand and then smile and add it to my cheeks. I used to like not like blush and then i'm gonna put a little over my nose to do that and i just feel like it makes it look like when you go outside and you get color from the sun it goes kind of like over your cheeks like this and on your nose so i think it just looks cute when it's over like that um okay then i'm going to go back in with my laura mercier translucent powder and make sure my under eyes are nice and creaseless and then i'm going to take my beauty blender and just go in and set my under eyes go down to my laugh lines kind of like wherever i put um the concealer on my forehead the nose and then i go in and i make sure that the i'm baking on the sides of my nose i don't really know how to contour my nose so that's kind of like what i do for contour just bake the sides on the bottom and leave that there uh while i do my bronzer i'm taking this nars brush it is very old and i need a new one but it's my favorite brush and i just haven't gotten the chance to order one yet but 
This is what I use for my bronzer. I haven't set my lower part of my face at all yet. I'm just dusting this to kind of set in the NARS like glow stuff I put on. I kind of like pat it in rather than like rubbing it at first and then I'll kind of dust it when I do my jaw. Um, and this was the Hula bronzer by the way. I've used it for years now and I just don't foresee me switching it anytime soon. <laughs> Next, I'm going to use my Kevin Aquan uh, blush in the shade Darlene, and I'm going to use it with this Kylie brush, and I don't know what number this is, but it looks like this. And I broke this, so I'm just gonna be super careful and go in and add it to my cheek, and I like to bring it like this, kind of like a base under where I would put my highlighter, like on my upper cheek area. Next, I'm going to bake my bronzer, contour, whatever it's called, um, just again with my Laura Mercier powder. Okay, so then now that I'm baking underneath, I'm gonna wipe off my nose and under eye bake with the same brush I used to the Morphe M501 that I used for to set my concealer and my eyebrows once I did that, you know, whatever. I'm just gonna dust it off. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the KKW Beauty Brighten Powder in the shade two. I just put a little bit and I put it just like right in there where my dark circles are. Next, I'm going to take this Morphe M441 brush and go back in with my Hoola bronzer and just kind of go down the sides underneath a little bit around the tip and blend that up like that and then next i'm going to go back in with my bronze palette and this nars little brush and i'm going to take the this side shade next to the orange and i'm just gonna go under on my, my bottom lash line and just bring the shadow down. Next, I'm going to get into lashes. I am very particular with my lashes. I used to wear extensions. I stopped doing lash extensions and I started doing a lash lift. And unfortunately, I haven't been able to get my lash lift. So I have been doing this trick where you take an eyelash curler and your blow dryer and you get it all nice and hot. Make sure it's not too hot. Test it on your skin. And you just curl your lashes with it nice and hot. And it is my tip and favorite trick. Curls them and it stays curled because my eyelashes tend to go back to being straight. So when I do this, I feel like it really holds the curl. And I'm going to be going in with the NARS Climax Mascara. I don't know about you guys, but I'm very bad at putting mascara on for some reason. I 99.9% .9 of the chance get it all over my lap, all over my, what's that called? All over my lid, <laughs> which is probably another reason why I don't like to put that much eyeshadow on because I feel like like I ruin it anyways, um, but I'm really gonna try and do this good for you guys. See, I already got it on there. And I just this on, and then I'll wait for all those spots that I got mascara all over on my lid, and I'll wait for those to dry, and then I take like a clean spoolie or Q-tip. It flakes off once it's dry, so it doesn't do too much damage, but it's definitely annoying. What's the difference, no mascara. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other eye. Okay, so now that I've done my mascara, again, I'm gonna wait for everything to dry before I go in with to clean up all the little dots I got on my lid. I don't know if you guys can see them. I am going to take a spoolie and kind of just like go through and make sure that my lashes aren't clumpy with just like a clean spoolie. Try and spread them out. Sometimes I get a little carried away. Also, the shadow line I did earlier really helps with my getting mascara all over my lid problem because it kind of like blends into the shadow when you can't really see how much mascara is on my lid. So that's another reason why I do that. But yeah. Okay, now I'm going to take this big fluffy Morphe M527 brush and wipe off this bake while I'm waiting for that mascara to dry. I'm going to take, I have two of these um, Morphe M501 brushes. I use one for powder and one for highlighter. Um, you can kind of tell that this one's shimmer and this one's powdery. So the same but different Morphe M501 brush. And I'm going to take the uh, Dose of Colors Desi and Katie highlighter in the shade Fuego. Put a little on and just dust it on cheek. 
blend in this area. I don't like too, too much highlighter. And then I'm gonna take this Charlotte Tilbury Eye Smudger and dip it into the, the highlighter and put it in my inner corner. So for my lip, I'm going to be using this NARS lip liner in the shade Borneo. B-O-R-N-E-O, Borneo. Borneo, let's go with that. And I'm just gonna fill in my lips. I don't really like to put lip liner and lipstick on when I'm filming my YouTube videos because a lot of you guys have noticed but think it's my lip filler. It's actually, I, when I talk, I only really use one side of my mouth. Like the muscles aren't as strong on the other side or something. It makes my mouth look lopsided. And when I'm wearing lip liner and lipstick on video, I feel like it makes it a lot easier for you to tell. So I try not to use like any strong lip color when I'm filming, but you guys still know to say shit so it's not my lip filler i actually dissolved all my lip filler right before quarantine so that i can see what i'm working with and start fresh but then i never got to start fresh because we got into quarantine but honestly i'm very happy because i don't think i'm going to add any lip filler i kind of just like my dissolved smaller lips so once they're colored in i take my little concealer brush and i kind of just use whatever's on it to clean up my lines Okay, and then I rub and blend it in with my finger. And then I'm going to take my MAC Velvet Teddy lipstick and put a little in the center. Again, use my finger to blend that out. And then I'm gonna put on my NARS Tuamotu lip gloss. It's T-U-A-M-O-T-U. And just get a little gloss. And I think I'm done. This is kind of like my everyday go-to glam when I'm getting ready. I don't obviously wear this much makeup every single day. I usually just either don't put any makeup on at all or put a few little drops of concealer under my eyes and maybe a little mascara. Um, but when I do sit down to kind of glam myself up, this is the look I do. I don't know how to do crazy eyeshadow. I don't know how to do eyeliner myself very good. So it's basically just this basic little glam and then I switch up my lip depending on you know what I'm feeling that day I like to keep it super glowy not too thick I like for you to be able to see my skin underneath and like my little beauty marks and stuff sometimes if I'm feeling frisky I'll take a little feeling frisky I'll take my eyebrow pencil and kind of just like go over the beauty marks I do have so that you can see them and this is also like a good trick if you have any pimples sometimes I'll do that it kind of just depends on the day, the mood. Oh, I'll usually take my, like, I'll wait probably like 20 minutes for my eyelashes to get super, super dry. And I'll reheat my eyelash curler and I'll curl my lashes again one more time. And they just go like straight up. Maybe I'll do that right now and then, and then close out the video. Okay, so I just like recurled my lashes. Just like when they're up and it like opens my eyes. But this is the final look. Mm, I hope you guys liked it. Um, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys want to see below. I know you guys want to see a final house tour. And I think it's going to be next video. I'm waiting for my dad to uh, drop off some nails for me outside my house, social distance. Um, and then I'll FaceTime him and he'll tell me how to hang these two paintings I have so I can just try and get it to look a little bit more put together and done before I do the final tour I have to also like clean up I'm not gonna do too much of a cleanup because I'm not gonna fake it for you guys but I'm gonna try and make it look as decent and cute as possible <laughs> um, but yeah thank you guys for watching make sure you guys comment and like and subscribe and do all that YouTube -y stuff and let me know what else you guys want to see besides a house tour down below all right thank you guys for watching